Willie G here and I'm going to show you guys how to port forward properly. Now keep in mind port forwarding is not going to do any good outside of your own network if you haven't already set a public IP address to your modem. So if you haven't yet please refer back to the original video about opening your NAT. Otherwise port forwarding is only going to work within your own network not the internet. So the first thing you're going to do is either open your Internet Explorer and enter the URL for your router into the address bar. What I always do since my IP address changes is go to Network and Sharing Center. I view a full map. And then click on your router. Enter your username and password. And then you're going to want to look at your attached devices. Okay. So here I have my computer. And this is my PlayStation 3. This is what I'm going to port forward to for PlayStation Network. So after I've got this IP address, I've seen it's 10.0.0.4. I'm going to go down to LAN setup and I'm going to set an address reservation for 10.0.0.4 so every time my PlayStation 3 logs on it's going to use this IP address now we're ready to port forward to this device go to port forwarding triggering make sure you select port forwarding and then start to add custom services here I've got a list of PlayStation Network services already forwarded for this IP address and this is how you do it. You add a custom service, name it, choose whether it's TCP or UPD, and if it's one single channel, enter the same channel twice, and then the IP address, and hit apply. If it's an extension of channels, enter the starting and ending point, IP address, and then hit apply and it's as simple as that and if you've run across different services such as PlayStation Network and different games that use the same ports you don't need to set a new port for that in fact it won't let you and if you come across one that's in a range of ports that you've already set for one service type such as TCP and the next is the same only it's UPD just select TCP UPD on the original port that you've assigned and it'll work fine. So that's how you do it and without um, opening a public IP address so this isn't going to do you any good so be sure that you first have a public IP address and not a private one otherwise port forwarding will not work outside of your local network. So keep that in mind. It's really pretty simple. Thanks guys.